Hey nerds, I'm back. This time I've got the E25 and first and foremost I want to show you guys just how quickly this thing can DPM a full health tank down to nothingness. There we go. One, two, three. I got to take one shot in the turn. Four, he's tracked. Five, and six. Six, one more, seven, he's on fire, and now he's dead. And I was on adrenaline, that hurt for him, like a lot. And then, here's a mostly full health KB-1S, just for uh, extra bonus points. But that was ten shots fired, we killed two tanks, one was completely full health, and then... The other was mostly full health, and then they're just gone. He's a Hellcat. I don't know what the hell he think he's thinking, but uh, it's not going to go well for him. He hit me in my gun melee, and so he bounced. He's not going to get a second shot off. It took me 10 seconds from my first shot hitting him until he died. Like, it was a full health tier 6 TD. It's 10 seconds. Nope, you're dead. Not going to happen. Two bit fools like, oh, where'd he go? Where'd he shoot? Nope, I already killed him. Over here, I'm shooting at an SG-152 who just fired and missed. And, uh, yeah, this, uh, Flat Panzer and I are gonna kind of delete him. I tracked him. I know I'm gonna out-reload the Flat Panzer until I get the kill anyways. And then, now, we have an actual match. Do y'all see how many TDs they have? This is World of Tank Destroyers Blitz at its finest. My god, they've got five TDs, a SP-1C, and I think it's a T-20. Or is it a T-21? It's a T-21, so they've got five TDs and two light tanks. On mines. Do you know how unfair <laughs> this matchup is for them? Five TDs. Like, no, there's no way in hell. Basically, we're just going to go and fight for damage, but because I'm in an E25, it's pretty easy for me to get damage. So this thing just shoots every 3.1 seconds, not on adrenaline. It's like 2.7 when you're using adrenaline. It's crazy. And, yep, this SU-100, M1, and E25 are already getting some love from my team. So I don't have to worry about them shooting back at me. One, two... Three, he's back into cover. He's about to die. There we go. This E25 wants some. One, he missed. Two. I bounce off of him. I think I hit his gun mantlet. There we go. He shot AG at me for. I don't know why. And now we got T25, two, one. Two. Pull back in the cover in case he wants to try and shoot me. He's distracted again. Roll out. Three. And yeah, that's just how quickly this thing can just completely devastate tanks. Full health, nearly full health, doesn't matter. This thing will out DPM just about anything at tier 7. I think the only thing that gives it a run for its money is the Comet. And that's because it's got more HP, so you, just, you need to shoot it like two more times. Then uh, he needs to shoot you. Just because of the HP difference. He's got 1150 and you've got 970. So yeah, you're going to shoot him a couple more times. One or two more times. For, uh, to kill him from full health. And he has to kill you. And he has to shoot you. I don't think the blazers look at me. I thought it was another other guy. So I kind of just sat there. But uh, SP and C was back behind the building, so. I took the bullet for it, but he shot me once, I shot him three times, I think I won that damage trade, if not it was close, I still say it was worth it, but going, running past this T AT-15A, there we go, yeah, okay. finish off the blaze, man shoots me and gets away with it, can I pull it in with the polo, then use my, like, flash like reflexes, get around him, put one into him, and then he's about to die. And that round lasted a grand total 
of two minutes and what 42 seconds <laughs> it was crazy just because he had five tds that had to camp 3200 damage in that short amount of time that's insane there was over four minutes left in the match and then i already did 3200 damage just because i'm in e25 it's ridiculous just the next best guy I did more than three times the damage of. That's crazy. And the next best guy was an SP1C, so it's not even a bad tank. 23 shots fired, 21 hits, 20 penetrations. I don't know why I bounced off the E25 in one shot. <sighs> oh well. And there was a shot on the uh, T21 also that Oh, that and then the SP1C it kind of like went to the dirt instead of going straight just because it kind of had like a little sliver to shoot at so it shot the dirt but whatever it's just it's fine I still did massive amount of damage and I actually made a profit I don't that doesn't usually happen because I run as you can see all premium rounds the E25 just because this, this is my one of my seal clubbing T7 tanks. I don't play it to, to credit grind. It's it's not for that. It's for it's to farm some uh, noob tiers. Anyways, supremacy. I don't know why, but I was getting supremacy all the freaking time. <laughs> uh, yesterday, but E25 supremacy. I looked at the matchup, figured they were going to go see some, like, let's all go left. And I'm going to try and fast cap B, which whenever I go left, uh, or at least to the side has got two cap points. I usually try and fast cap B, just because you can kind of hold it off, keep it away from the enemy. And uh, just get A and then out point farm them. But I got spotted by an IS. He didn't go the way I thought he was. So now I'm a little concerned. I don't know which side to hide on. I uh, decided maybe I should go over this side. Because I think they might be going. I don't know. But IS is the only one that was spotted. So I'm thinking I'm going to go for C. And then they start capping C. So I'm like, uh-uh, screw that. <laughs> I'm going to go this way. I think the IS is by himself. So now it's just going to be me. And oh god, there's an ISU 152. Stop real quick. Put one shot into him. Ally puts another shot into him. On the move, I get another shot into him. Now he's a two or three shot for me. And uh, now I just gotta try and outplay him. Try to track him, didn't work out. Now I'm scared shitless. And uh, I bounced that one. Not looking good. Rolling back, trying to get under his gun, and then he missed his shot, so. Yay! <laughs> this guy's totally screwed. The ISU 152. Oh, uh, nope, I'm not going anywhere. There we go. Now he's dead. And that is a very dangerous top tier TD. Not in the game anymore. Looking at a shot on this Jack Panther. He's looking at one of me, but I am a lot faster than he does. So uh, he missed a shot. This IS that was over here by his own some. Did you just see where that one went? And for the side of the turret, hit the one spot in the front that I'm going to bounce. Anyways, he misses because he hits a bump. But I kind of make a mistake there. I roll back. Trying to avoid the ram, but I uh, ended up getting shot by the Dog Panther too for my troubles. Over here, gonna take a shot on the RU. Gonna try and track him, but then, did you see that? Did y'all see that crap? It still hit the ground. There was no ground in my reticle at all. But it's like, nah, nah, boy, you're gonna hit the ground here. So the RU gets away without me tracking him. The Dog Panther 2 really wants me dead. But uh, he's got some troubles for my teammates. Gonna go over here. Yes, no, maybe so. Gonna go this way. Ah, I got shot by the tiger, so I have to make a move. Run around. Shoot him once. Trying to get behind him. He stops. I overshoot. It's not looking good. He missed me. I bounced him. Backing up, getting the lower plate. One shot, two shots. He's dead. Now I'm going to go over, get behind this Carnarvon, and pump some lead into him. As only one shot, he was one shot anyways. Now, just myself, 
and this Tiger and this Helsing. But we're really close to winning on points. And so we gotta get our damage in now. Looking for a shot on the Helsing. It went left. I couldn't really leave him that much because there's a rock there. But this Tiger's right there. And I bounced that one. That was unfortunate. There we go. They ran into him. He's still coming around. He's just trying to get damage desperately because he knows he's going to lose. There we go. Boom. And... Boom. Game finished. We still had a full health health thing, I think. I'm pretty sure. I don't think anyone shot him. So I could have gotten even more damage. But because we had to win on points. Uh, is less than 3k. But it's still an ace tanker because pretty much exclusively shot at uh, top tier tanks. And you get more XP and credits for shooting at top tier tanks. So, got another ace. But, uh, yeah, it's, this tank's just fun. It's so fun. You can park behind like a KV-4 or a KV-3. Or there's big old tall German heavy tanks like the VK, the Tiger II, Tiger, Tiger P. You can just park behind them. And then they can't shoot you because they don't have the gun depression. Or like, even an RU, if you're chasing an RU and he's trying to run away, if, you, he, if he's looking over the rear of his tank, he doesn't have any gun depression. He's actually got only gun elevation over the rear of his tank. So if you're chasing an RU and you're only like 20 meters back, he's not going to be able to get the gun down enough to shoot you unless he goes up a hill a little bit. That'll be the only way. Anyways, this is M16's Rule of Tanks Blitz replays. I hope you enjoyed my video, and as always, have a nice day.